Hi you guys! In today's video I wanted to show you how to prepare all your ephemera or keepsakes for a travel journal. I recently went on a trip to China and I collected a bunch of stuff and I wanted to just share with you guys how I organized it in preparation to create my travel journal. So I got this little pouch at Daiso and I just stuck everything in here because I wasn't using this for anything else. So let me show you what I did. Um, this newspaper is from the airport and I just picked it up on our way to get on our flight home because I thought I could cut out some stuff and use it in my travel journal. Um, let's see. I have, these things aren't pertaining to one particular city, so they're not in a folder, but I just have some coins, and I thought I could use the Traveler's Notebook clear pockets to put some of these in. I thought that'd be kind of cool. And then, this seems kind of weird, but I saved a plastic bag so that I could cut out some stuff. Um, and put it in my notebook and it kind of gives a cool effect because it's transparent. So I saved this. <laughs> and then here's how I organized all of our tickets and brochures and all that stuff. So what I did was I put the name of the city on an envelope and then inside I put everything that I collected from that city. Now, lucky for me, my boyfriend speaks Chinese and reads Chinese, so I didn't have to be as careful because if I forget what something is from, I can just ask him and he can read it. Um, but if you go somewhere where the language is different, um, my suggestion is to put a little post-it or you can write directly on the thing um, what it's from. So for example, I found these tickets when we got home and I had no idea what they were from because as you can see, there's no English on it. So if I didn't have one, someone who spoke Chinese, I would have been in trouble thinking, what was this from? So luckily my boyfriend was able to tell me those were subway receipts. And then I just put a little post-it on there so that when I do my travel journal, I know what these are. Um, other things I saved were business cards from restaurants, Forbidden City, we went to the museum store and I saved the receipt. Pretty much anything that you collect can be put into a travel journal. This is a bullet train ticket. I have a map of a place we went. Let's see what else. Packaging from a keychain. Like, this might look like trash, but once you get into travel journaling, you'll realize anything can be used. Like, even this clear part up here, the plastic, you can cut this and layer it on top of something. Hotel room key holder. Tickets to shows that we went to. The little stationery from the hotel, gotta save that. This is the door hanger, the do not disturb, with a little, well, a scary dog. Um, our luggage tags, this is on our way coming home, so it has San Francisco where we live. Departure card, so these immigration cards that you see when you go to other countries, I always took an extra one and just saved it to put in my travel journal. So those are some things that I saved. And for each city, I did this. So we went to four different cities, and so I made four envelopes. And for each one, I just put in all the stuff um, that I collected, you know? Tickets, chopstick holders, got a lot of those. Um, this is from the utensils on one of our domestic flights in China that I saved. Again, this clear stuff, you might think, well, what am I going to do with that? But it looks really cool when you layer it on top of other things in a travel journal. So I kept those, brochures. Um, even simple things, like this is from, we went to the Shaolin Temple. Uh, we went to a Kung Fu school 
near there and we had dinner at the restaurant and I saved the little toothpicks and I put my post-it on there. All these post-its were put on when I got home. Yeah, I just have tickets in here and I always save all of these. Even at places when they collect the tickets, usually you can ask like, hey, can I keep that? And they'll usually give it back to you um, because these are super cool to have. And I always keep both, even if I'm not going to put both in the journal. Um, maybe I want to do something else with one of the other ones. Put it in my Hobonichi or something else. Let's see what I have here. Um, just receipts, hotel room, card holder. Um, yeah, so that's how I organized all my stuff that I kept. I just put it in envelopes. Um, and I guess if you wanted to be super prepared, when you're going on a trip, you could bring envelopes with you. Because when I was on my trip, I just had one folder where I kept everything inside. And I kind of tried to keep it organized by city, but once I got home, it was kind of just all jumbled. And then I went through and separated everything. Um, another tip would be to separate things and organize them right when you get home because the longer you wait, you're gonna forget, oh, what was this from? And if you can't read it, you're gonna be, <laughs> be wondering even more where you got things. So organize it right when you get home. And I think this envelope method works perfect. And then um, this stuff I found later when I was cleaning out all my bags and everything. And these were in one of my traveler's notebooks. So this is um, when we arrived in Hong Kong, you get a little immigration thing that they put in your passport, but they don't stick it in, so I saved that. And then a little Fuji um, Instax Fujifilm. I think they're Fujifilm. Instax photo, uh, yeah, from Forbidden City of my boyfriend and I and the family. So these I found later. So I will organize these into the correct folder. This is from Beijing. And this is from Hong Kong, but right after Hong Kong, we went to Shenzhen. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Oh, and here's another coin. I'll put that back in my little Ziploc just to save for later. Um, then I have some tissues. If you go to China, you'll know this is important to have for any restroom because sometimes they don't have any. Um, so I saved this to use the packaging. And then I have another, I think, immigration form. And this is packaging from a gift that my boyfriend's father gave us. So I thought that was cute. I cut it out and I'm gonna put that somewhere. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you got some ideas on how to organize and prepare for your next travel journal. My last tip for travel journaling is to take your camera with you everywhere you go. Whether it's your phone or a real camera, bring it with you even if you think you won't need it because you never know what you might see. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel to see new videos from me every week. I'll see you next time.